Hey folks, back again. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a little video update what we're into. We just cemented all the all the traps, poured the poured the cement in them. As you can see, we just had the local cement company out with three and a half yards of cement, I guess. Uh, might have been a little more than that. The truck driver thought they put a little bit extra on, but anyway, this is what we done. Put the paper in them and uh, put the cement to them. I, I got them marked. Just kind of how far I want the cement to come. It'll be, it'll be close. They should sink. If not, I got some. Extra cement, so we made up some sink valves. So there's a pile of traps. This is what 340 some traps look like. There's the old shop, it's rough shape. That's Imax gonna come in here one of these days and clean that up. Here's some of Preston's round ones. He might have to put ballast in these round ones with the wooden tops. The square one's got wire tops, so. You could say 340 traps pretty quick, but when it comes to building them, there's a pile of work. And there's more out here. Running out of room to put all these traps, so. Anyway, the truck driver was a good fella, no rush. So yeah, this is the, probably the quickest we've done them. We had a pretty good big crew on here, so we done these 340 traps. The uh, truck driver got here at uh, pretty well 11 on the dot, and uh, he was. We were all done. It. I was done doing mine at 1 12:30, and uh, we started making up battles, pressing them, finishing off. So yeah, ooh, I almost walked in that cement. That was a little bit of left left over, but. You're probably wondering what all these bags are for. Like I said, some of them traps might be light. And if they are, I'm not going to pick it up. But that's probably 10 pounds or better right there in that bag. So a couple hundred bags there we made up. So we'll find out. We'll just throw a trap over the wharf. And if it sinks, it sinks. And if it, if it looks like it's just kind of floating, maybe it's going to sink. Better off throwing the ballast in it for the night. Get them down on the bottom because you don't want them floating. They'll all bunch up, pile up, and uh, quicker to get the bottom, the quicker they fish. So, anyway, I just thought I'd come make a little video update what we're into. We'll take the bags off, we'll the plastic off, and it'll just be the cement. So, anyway, that's exactly what they're for. You just set that in the back end of the trap, and that'll bring her down. So. And so it was just this little bit of extra stuff that we filled a little hole in and uh, yeah. So I just thought I'd come out and show you what we were into. They're all nice and pretty all laid out. I was glad to get this job over with because it's never fun cementing them but the key is just to get the right amount in and don't overdo it and you put too much in it then you gotta lift them every day. for two straight months so and like I said if they're just a little bit light well put the ballast in them and they'll you know when they're down 100 feet of water they'll they won't be long absorbing water so anyway I'm just gonna end off with that folks and uh, any questions feel free to ask and uh, yeah cheers <laughs>